Victor Kilo 7, Hotel Hotel, calling CQ and listening. Kilo Tango 4, running around. Okay, Mike. Well, Roger, again, a little bit of noise on the, uh, on the frequency, but I can hear you, Hayden. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you're coming in uh, about 5x5 five to 5 seven into North Central Florida, Roger. Whiskey Bravo 9, Victor Golf Oscar, very good morning to you over there. Hi, uh, QS Zelda 5 and 10, thank you very much. You, uh, you are 5 and 8, 58 here, Chicago, Illinois. Victor Echo 1, Canada, number 1. Victor Echo 1, Sugar, over. Tonight has been. Uh, a amazing night for DX here. It's currently 10.30 at night, and if we just have a quick listen on... That's 20 metres on FT8 at the moment, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if I do uh, something like this <laughs> and show you maybe something like this as well, you'll notice that there have been stations galore today i've just been working uh pretty much worldwide uh 20 meters today it's been absolutely fantastic um and just to have a bit of a look here this is the stations that i worked earlier on in the evening so this is the utc time this is my log and if we have a look i managed to work 22 stations on single sideband on 20 meters uh, just unbelievable, Belgium, Spain, I, I live streamed all this, you can check it out, I've got the full live stream up, uh, which I posted earlier on, but Belgium, Spain, New Zealand, Australia, obviously, Italy, Norfolk, Ireland, uh, US, England, Northern Ireland, Canada, and this was all happening at the same time, it was uh, quite amazing over the space of about two hours, and then over the last couple of hours, I've just been doing some FT8. And I mean, as you could see here, like look at the east coast of, of uh, the United States, like pretty much all of these grid squares are all being covered. Um, and you can see all of the stations that I've, I've heard. Um, I've made 50 QSOs on FT8, um, just been sort of sitting on the couch doing the odd one here and there, mostly the US, uh, as you can see, but we've got Puerto Rico, um, Atlantic Russia, we've got Japan, Canada. So, yeah, and <laughs> received calls. I have received over 760 calls. So I haven't been calling and, and making contacts this entire time. I've just been – I had it running for a couple of hours by itself and, like, Portugal – China. I mean, look at this. Look how long this list is. It's uh, it's quite amazing. 760, 44 DXCC, if we just have a look here. So obviously, east coast of the US, just starting to wake up. You can see the, the gray line there, but absolutely amazing. Heard some stations here, down here in Cuba. Worked a, st a station. There's that station in Puerto Rico that I managed to work. A couple in South America. Uh, moving over here, so um, by the time I started doing FT8, it started to fade out slightly to Europe. So you can see some here in France, a um, couple in Austria, uh, Netherlands, the UK, Russia. So there's a few here uh, across there, Kazakhstan, Oman, China, Japan's obviously always well represented, Indonesia, and this is just all tonight in the space of a couple of hours. So um, also worked Hawaii. Um, so absolutely amazing conditions. So you can see, uh, yeah, um, absolutely ridiculous uh, conditions tonight on, uh, on 20 meters. So if you're not operating, um, get on the air because whether you're interested in CW, sideband, FT8, any of these things, uh, it's open. It's open at the moment. And um, we could see the solar cycle is just, it's on the way up and uh, conditions are improving every single day. Uh, tomorrow, I'm doing a live stream with Steve, KM9G from Temporary Offline. And actually, funny enough, I worked Steve KM9G, there he is, sent minus 18 and received minus 17. But the highlight, 
even though, you know, it is a highlight to be able to work Steve, but the highlight was working Whiskey One Alpha Whiskey, the ARRL uh, HQ uh, station sent plus seven, and I received them at zero zero. So very, very strong signal um, for the guys there at the ARRL. So um, I was happy to, to work them them guys. I worked a couple of guys on stream as well. Um, and it's just absolute thrill to be able to work and and just conditions are conditions are on the way up. But as I was saying before, I, I will be streaming with Steve KM9G from temporarily offline tomorrow. Uh, that's Friday morning in the US. We're going to be talking about Solar Cycle 25, uh, coincidentally, and we're going to be talking about are you ready for Solar Cycle 25? Because we haven't quite reached the peak yet. So don't miss that live stream. There will be a link in the description below, and we're going to be talking about how you can take advantage of these wonderful band conditions that are happening right now. The bands are definitely coming alive. They're no longer dead. There is so much activity out there. Just look at these lines that keep appearing. Again, this is FT8, sideband CW. It's all there. I can see on the waterfall on the radio here at the moment. I can see uh, CW going. I can see SSB signals as well. So get out there, work the DX, put an antenna up and call CQ. I was really happy that I was able to work plenty of stations on sideband as well earlier on. If you want to see some of the stations that I did work, then please join me over at this video right here now.